Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Uh, I want to talk about uh, supplements, uh, vitamins, and, 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 and stuff like that. Uh, and how oh, I'd, I'd like to say how they improve your health, but that would be a false statement. Uh, because now, the first thing, I'm not aware of any place you can go where you can get the exact what you need in the way of vitamins. Uh, I, I'm not aware. I, I don't know a, um, a place on uh, the internet. I don't know any person. I don't know any organization. I'm not aware of anything. Uh, and uh, I, I'm always having people ask me, well, what kind of vitamins do I need? Okay. And I, I can't answer that. Honestly, I cannot answer that. And uh, so what I'm attempting to do now is I want to try to explain to you how vitamins, uh, well, I, don't, I can't even say how vitamins work. Uh, I, I want to explain to you how the lack of vitamins will affect your body. That I can talk about. Um, okay. Uh, um, when you when you have a vitamin deficiency, your body deteriorates. Uh, if your body can absorb vitamins, then your body will improve. Okay, but that's it's, now that's just one thing. <laughs> it's just one thing. There's a lot of things that make your body improve, and a lot of things make your body get bad. I, I, I talk about your body mainly is affected by what you eat, drink, breathe, and lifestyle. Okay, now the thing is, uh, if you have a lack of um, minerals and some vitamins. I say, I'm not into all this stuff. I don't really study it. So I really don't really know. And I don't have enough uh, uh, experience to back all this stuff up. But there's certain things that are just a matter of fact. It's just a fact. And what that is, uh, when you don't have the proper vitamins and the proper minerals, what you're going to do is your uh, body will take it from your bones. Uh, that's why. Uh, that's why you, when you get thin bones, in other words, you know, like the bones like that, and you got the bone marrow in the middle. Uh, when that bone, the walls of the bone, gets thin, your body is taking it. Uh, taking that out of your bones <laughs> and the bone marrow so uh, that's why uh, uh, pregnant women should be taking a lot of vitamins now what kinds I don't know <laughs> but uh, some of it has been studied so they know some of the vitamins that you need now how much do you need it depends on your body each body is different so if the pregnant woman, uh, they have standards. They say, well, this is what you need, this is what you need. Now, uh, do you need that or do you not? I don't know. And it's the same thing uh, whether you're not pregnant, just how much vitamins you need. You, you have the USDA will tell you how much vitamins you need and they lie. Uh, now, I don't know. I. I I'm not sure if they lie on purpose 
because they don't want you to be healthy. I mean, you've got to remember, nobody makes money on healthy people. And uh, so uh, there's a lot of money in sickness. So there's no motivation to make you healthy. That's the same thing why nobody wants to cure cancer because they make so much money off of cancer. I mean, lots of people make it. So they're not going to cure no cancer. It's just one scam after another. And it applies to all aspects of sickness. And that's why health is what you're supposed to be looking for, trying to get the health. Now, in the way of the, the vitamins, the USDA, they say this, but they're, for one thing, they don't know. <laughs> but they have to justify their work so they say they know, so they don't, but they don't really know. Now, uh, an, ex an example is vitamin C. You hear me talk about vitamin C all the time. And uh, it's the, uh, I don't even know, I think it's 100, it used to be, I think it's 60 to keep you from getting scurvy. So you have to have 60 uh, milligrams of uh, vitamin C a day to keep from getting scurvy. And 60 milligrams equal to about an orange. So uh, that's how much you need just so you don't get scurvy. And scurvy's uh, like a diarrhea kind of thing. And, it, and it's, uh, it's pulling uh, minerals and vitamins out of your body when you get it like that. It's the same thing like diarrhea. It's pulling all kinds of nutritional nasty stuff, or it's pulling all kinds of good stuff out of your body. It's not staying in you long enough to pull all the, the nutrients out. So that's why it's not good. So, uh, but I think they said uh, 100 milligram is what the, and it used to be 80, I think it used to be, and they raised it not too long ago. Not too long ago, like five or 10 years ago. And, uh, uh, to 100 or 120 something like that and and I suggest 6,000 now uh, and like I say I'm six foot uh, 160, 185 190 and I've been taking uh, 6,000 three uh, 2,000 three times a day uh, for 20 over 25 years and uh, uh, it, it, it helps a lot in, and the thing is funny, it's not the vitamin C. What it does is the lack of vitamin C, then you, you don't get all the nutrients out of your food. Vitamin C is just an acid, so it just breaks down uh, all the, the, the cells and stuff in, in your food. And break, well, it breaks down the food, and then when it gets in the blood, it breaks down the so it's easier for your body to absorb. And so, so vitamin C itself doesn't do a whole lot. It's what it, it helps the body do what it's supposed to do. And that's the same way it applies on a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I could list all these, these vitamins, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna let you do the homework and figure out what you need. But uh, the thing is, when you have that lack your body is going to get it from somewhere and if it doesn't then your body will be deteriorating and uh, uh, so far my body's been holding up pretty good so I think I've been doing a pretty good thing on, on my vitamins and I'm sure a lot of the vitamins I take are, uh, are wasted and that's the one thing good about vitamins if you're not if you're taking the wrong ones they're just going to come in and go back out Poop, pee it or poop it. It's all going to come out. And uh, uh, now I'm sure there's probably something you can overdose on, but I don't know of any, but I'm sure there is. Somebody that's smarter than me will probably know more about that. Uh, but I just take um, a little bit of a lot of stuff. And uh, so far, and I, and I eat the best I can possibly eat. Talking about that, that's a good example of uh, calcium. I don't really push calcium on uh, on my people, and that's because I'm not quite sure how the calcium. When you take a calcium vitamin, calcium pill, uh, it's, I think it's a mineral, it'd be a mineral, yeah. And I'm not quite sure how it's absorbed in the body. 
uh, that's why that's the main reason why I don't really go for it. Now, uh, Brock I think is high in in calcium, and there's some other. I think the the green vegetables are high in calcium. So um, I eat a lot of green vegetables, um, just because, like I say, as a food product, your body's more capable of consuming it than it is when it's a, a not a food. And I say, now I take my vitamins when I eat, so I try to fool my body and make my body think, man, boy, body, I'm feeding you good. And so I eat nasty stuff, and then I'll have to have a lot of vitamins. But uh, I'm not sure how much these vitamins are absorbed. So uh, and that's what I'm saying. That's so. So I can't really give you a good, accurate number. Now, uh, maybe there are people. I, I'll tell you, I have more faith in dietitians uh, than I would with somebody that can start telling you what kind of vitamins you take. And even the dietitians, I used to really respect them a lot. Nowadays, it's a little bit different. They're looking for uh, uh, fast results more than good results. In other words, uh, a lot of dietitians will get you to lose weight and, and this, this type of stuff. And that's not the proper thing for a dietitian. I think, like I say, it took me, when I decided to take care of myself, it took me four years to lose 25 pounds. And you say, well, 25 pounds isn't very much. And I said, well, yeah, I know. It, it took me four years, and I've kept it off for about 15 years. <laughs> so, uh, in other words, it's good habits that you get into. And then, since at that time, since then, I experiment with uh, a different diet, I say. I've learned, I talk about the, eating the green vegetables. It's not my favorite, but I've learned to eat it. I have people say, well, what, is your, what do you really enjoy eating? What I enjoy eating and what I do eat aren't, aren't the same thing. I eat because I need to eat the proper food because I want to stay healthy. So uh, when it comes to vitamins, I can't tell you what to use. I can't even tell you where to go to find out what you need. But I can tell you, do your homework, and you better be taking them. And uh, the sooner you take them, the better you're going to be. Because when you can look back and say, well, I've done this for 10 years, you've done something. Yeah, but I have people say, well, I stopped drinking pop. I say, you did? Well, that's good. When was that? Two months ago. Well, you know, it's going to take you years for all that toxins to get out of you so it takes time for your body to make these adjustments and you have to start with the adjustments on what you're putting in and it's lifestyle lifestyle doing things walking you see me doing this walking I do this walking a lot and uh, because of my age I don't do high impact exercises but I do the Tai Chi the stretches and I walk a lot so uh, and all that keeps me healthy and, and, and energetic and ready to go. So the, you need to find out what works for you, and you need to do it on a regular basis. It's what you do on a regular basis that counts, not what you just started doing or, you know, what this type of stuff. It's you, something you do on a regular basis. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.